Can I actually say words? I'm not convinced. Hello everybody, it's Emily and today I wanted to talk about some books that I would like to read this fall. So I'm not normally a seasonal mood reader. I don't typically read things based on the season. I just kind of see what's on my shelf, what do I feel like reading, set a TBR for the month, go through that. There are some books that I have heard just give you fall vibes and I wanted to try for the fall to kind of read these atmospheric books that kind of give you fall vibes. So I picked out some books that I in general would like to get to this fall and some of them I'm really excited to get to so and I've been saving them for the fall so I'll probably get to them um, pretty soon. So without further ado let's get into the book. So the first one I was going to read on audio during the newts. Uh, but I didn't click with the audiobook, and so I decided to just save it for the fall and read it physically, and that is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero. So this one follows the descendants of Sherlock Holmes and John Watson, and um, Charlotte is the descendant of Sherlock Holmes, and Jamie is the descendant of John Watson. Yeah, so it follows them in present day. They're in Connecticut, and so I'm guessing since they're starting school in the Northeast, it would be really cool time to read this book and in general I like reading mysteries around this time. It's just I feel like a fun time to read them so this is one that I would really like to get to. Uh, next is one that I'm really excited to get to. I've mentioned this one a couple of times before and that is The Seven and a Half Deaths of Ellen Hardcastle. This one follows a group of people, I believe they're in some sort of period mansion, house, thing for a party and at this party at 11 p.m. Evelyn Hardcastle is murdered and one of the people in this period mansion at this party uh, relives that day but embodying different people who are at this party and they're reliving that day every day until they can solve Evelyn's murder. Sounds super intriguing and I'm super excited to get to this so hopefully I'll be able to get to this really soon. Another one that I picked up at a library sale is The Casual Vacancy. It was cheap enough so I decided to just pick up a copy. I believe this one just deals with murder in a small English town. That's pretty much the extent of what I know about it um, but thought this would be a fun time to dive into it. Another one that I've heard is just a fun one that messes with your mind is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This follows a guy who's lived a pretty normal life and one day something happens, I believe he's knocked unconscious, and when he wakes up he has no evidence that he's lived the life that he remembers. And so it's about him trying to figure out what's going on, figure out who he really is and what's going on and why he's remembering something that apparently has not happened and a life that hasn't happened. And so this one sounds super intriguing and I've heard amazing things about this and about his recent book that came out, Recursion. Another one that I would really love to get to, it's another school one that is set in the Northeast during the school year. And I have heard gives off really strong fall vibes. I don't have a physical copy. I believe it's on Scribd, so I might listen to it on audio. Maybe I'll try to find a cheap copy if I can find one. And that is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. So this fall follows a woman who is going to school in the Northeast. She's going to a special boarding school for gifted students and she has come there. Her passion is solving uh, mysteries, solving murders. She has come there to solve the crime that happened at the school's founding. There was a kidnapping and murder, I believe, within the family that founded this school and it's remained unsolved up until the present day and she wants to solve this mystery and while she's there things start happening that are reminiscent of what happened at the school's founding and so it follows those two timelines about what happened back when the school was founded and what's happening in the present day as she's trying to uncover this mystery and figure out what's going on in her own timeline. So those are some books that I'm particularly excited to get to in the fall. Are there any others I should add to this list? What are you excited to get to this fall and have you read any of these books? If so, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe. I'll also link my other channel where I talk about sustainability and climate change and I will also link my Twitter and Instagram down below so that you can find me there. That's where I like to hang out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!